Hello friends, this is Mrs. Rios Garza, and today I would like to read you a story in which our character, the main character in the story, finds herself in some difficult situations and finds that learning to find the strength within oneself, to believe in oneself, can make certain difficult situations a little bit better. The story is called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. It was written by Patty Lovell and illustrated by David Cattrall. There's the cover of the book. And this is the title page. Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon by Patty Lovell, illustrated by David Cattrall. Molly Lou Millen stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. So she did. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. And start in a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked them ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish.
On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick doc, duck. Honk, honk. Molly, Mellon, Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. <clears throat> On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children ooed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a piece of paper, a pencil, and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. And that, friends, was the end of this story. And Molly Lou Mellon, feeling proud of herself and believing in herself, made all those situations a little bit better. I hope you go on this week believing in yourself and making all the situations that you may encounter a little bit better because you believe in yourself. Until next time, bye.